got no idea where I'm sitting. But we're down here at the Perth Convention and Exhibition Centre for the annual Derby lunch. It's always a cracking week. The celebration is just kicking underway. Let's go see if I can find it. Please, mate, welcome Dean Cox on Coxie's Couch. Thanks, Mark. So, Shannon, you just bought a new house. The truth, yep. Okay. Um, well, maybe, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Right next door to Simo's house. That's right, so... Um... The one, the only, Kevin Sheedy. Miggy and I used to have sort of, um, have a little bit of confrontations. And, um, so he got his backside smacked last week by the, the Eagles, didn't he? Did you enjoy that? Oh, 300 losses, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Mate, I was, I was actually baking a cake for his 301st loss this week. Fishing, who's the dominant fisherman? So Lek is apparently the skipper, is that right, Shannon? Yeah, well he's a skipper on the boat, so he says. Um, but um, I think the captains, they drive the big boats. So I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the captain on there, but he's the skipper. He's the bay boy, mate. He's the bay boy. Foxy's yeah. still there, hanging about, <laughs> having showers in the players' change rooms when he shouldn't be in there. There's a coach's one. Um, we can't get rid of him, so um, there's no clear air. It's just, um, it's just air with Coxy polluting it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, big Coxy loves it. Loves any any time he can get on the screen and. There was a big screen right in front of us and he could see himself, so he was in his element. He's always been an attention seeker, even when at the club, you know, he thinks he's a funny one, always loud, and uh, that's right up his alley, that. He does a good job, sad to say, but um, he, he loves it. Well, I've also been noticing, like, when you become a coach, you do a lot more coding and watch a lot of games, and especially from behind the goals, which gives you a bird's eye view. Um, last year, noticed that you were starting to board in a particular spot. Yeah, well, I've just been asking Simo if I can play on the far wing at Subi. So, um, you know, they don't have cameras outside, so it's, there's no shine on it. Uh, yeah. He's not going board on his back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he acts like he doesn't love it, but quietly. Um, there's no bigger fan of himself than Bunga. How are you, coach? Good. Excited. You like coaching? I do at the moment. Asked me last week and it was a different story. Yeah, I remember when I got home after waving the jacket, the phone rang and mum said, uh, <laughs> knock it off, you're embarrassing the family. Uh, Ross Lyon, because I mean, he's just the beast of a man, isn't he, really? Can you get inside his head like I used to try and get inside mould houses? <laughs> Did you get inside there? Oh, well, when you get in there, there was nothing there, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, had uh, 10 scripted questions, asked none of them. but. Uh, that's Sheeds, that's the beauty of Sheeds, and that's why we love him. You don't know how many goals you kick, like, the, your 300... I don't even know how many games I've played. <laughs> you ever heard of maths? <laughs> <laughs> he went to school in Northampton. He don't know how... <laughs> I bet you get on that contract, you'll know where the decimal point is. <laughs> so you have rivalries. We don't like Carlton, Hawthorne, Collingwood. <laughs> Fremantle, West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the greatest game in the world and we've got to keep ramping it up. 